In this presentation I want to talk about two examples of Irish clinical simulation centers that are one that's going very well and one that's not going so well. These presentations were taken from a one-day conference I ran this time last year from the, the directors of these centers and I think there, there's something of interest here. So the first center is called St. James's Regional Clinical Skill Center. This is a uh, this is based in Dublin, so the capital city of Ireland. And St. James is the largest university teaching hospital in Ireland. And actually three out of the six Irish medical schools are also based in Dublin, so you think that this, this is all looking good so far. Um, there was national funding to develop this, and it was the centre was completed in 2009. So they had plenty of kind of start-up funds to, to buy equipment and you can see they're able to support a, a couple of different departments and as it says there's, there's a bias towards anaesthetic training I think that was probably the main reason that they got the funding but they're able to support other team training activities as, as well as undergraduate education as well potentially okay so everything's good so far but here is really where, where the problems began so the funding was for infrastructure only so they had a big wad of cash they were allowed to spend it but there was no funding beyond uh, some initial funding for personnel at the beginning of the, of the project and there's no recurrent funding so there's no annual money that's, that's given to them to fix things if you know even if things break they, they don't have money to really to fix that uh, they thought that perhaps they could get money from, from postgraduate education of anesthetists and the like. However, uh, there's been a change in, in how this works, and that is now no longer really a, a viable income stream. So they're, they're in difficulties. So the outcome of this lack of investment in personnel is really uh, they have no manager, there's no funding for support services their equipment is becoming dated, it needs service, but there's no there's no money to do that. They're kind of hanging on by a thread, but this is really only through the enthusiasm of some 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 trainers who, who recognize that this this is this is important, who are supporting this kind of free basically out, out of their own time. So kind of the upshot is this is a complete wasted opportunity and really you can make the argument that it wasn't worth building in the first place because it's it's really hardly being being used at all, and the future prospects for it being used are are not are not good either. So my second example is the Assert Center, which is in University College Cork, which is in the south of uh, of the Republic of Ireland. So they got funding from a number of different places: the university itself, the health service executive, they're the basically the people that run the health service in Ireland as well as from the guys who run higher education in Ireland and this became they got the money they spent the money and it became operational around 2010 so you can see from the list of objectives that the director uh, John McAdoo presented here um, it's, it's got it's bigger than, than just just providing training. Training is a key bit obviously of, of, of what they do and the purpose of the center but there's more of that in terms of research um, integrating with other agencies like the paramedics and the army also also use it. So it has a kind of a, a big piece here of, of what it's trying to do. And here is the difference from the St. James's example. So they have a, a part-time medical director and manager. They have a clinical skills nurse who uh, r runs the uh, runs the mannequins and so on and uh, he's full-time and they have some administrative support and these are funded positions that aren't going to go away. So they have some people who are actually paid and this is their job to, uh, to do this at least at least some of the time and work at the center. So, not only are they doing quite well, they're also expanding. There's going to be a big injection of money. They're going to expand what they can do, the, the training they can do, and training they can offer. 
they're going to be involved in innovation and testing new equipment through through simulation so the future for the guys in cork is looking is looking pretty good So in this slide, if you just line up the differences, I mean, the main thing here is the Assert Center has dedicated staff whose job it is to work at, at the Simulation Center at least half-time. Uh, they have money to for recurring costs. They're very closely related to the university, so they are able to integrate well with their own specific medical school in the way St. James's doesn't exactly have a one university that's associated with it. They, ca they can't do that. Uh, the guys in Asset recognize rec recognize they also have a have a research role, so they can they they can do that, and they've really expanded their training and they're looking out beyond just uh, just medical students and anesthetists, but they're you know they're doing a whole range of training. So yeah, I mean that, I think that's the big difference. But the big difference is is the dedicated staff and the money for for the recurrent costs. So these are just two small examples from the same com country, so they've got the same kind of economic environment they're working in, same time periods, and one is succeeding and one is really failing. And it's not the enthusiasm of the people involved, the, the director from St. James's who came to talk is enthusiastic, although rather beaten down with, with the lack of support. But I mean, she said this herself, it's really due to the lack of any dedicated staff or recurrent funding to allow this the center to keep its doors open and to um, maintain the equipment and provide training to to the people that they want to the people they want to use the center. So um, yeah, I mean, one good, one bad. Thank you.